right, you two, here we are. Ugh. Just call me when you need my services. I'm getting as far away from this dump as possible. See yous. Yep, thanks. So, here we are, Kitty. Fishmouth. <sighs> Is this foul, rotting sea life odor in any way mouthwatering to you? Please, it's sickening, and I'd literally rather be anywhere else right now, but we've got a job to do. Let's find Finman's before we revisit my lunch and dinner. Hey, folks. Mind if I squeeze through? We don't mind or nothing, stranger. We just strongly discourage it. Strongly discourage it? Okay, I can respect that. So, can you let me through anyway? We ain't shopping you. We just strongly discouraging it. Well, it's easy, really. Each one of you just has to take one step, no, half a step in the opposite direction, and we're all happy. We ain't stopping you, stranger, but we ain't moving either. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Buzz Kerwin, and I'm a tourist here in this beautiful seaside town of yours. Martha. Martha Webfoot. Liz here's my husband, Silas. We's the Fishmouth Citizens Brigade. Proud volunteers. Just watching over things, making sure the festival gonna go smooth. That's our job now. The festival? It ain't got nothing to do with you or your kind. Yeah, that's why we strongly discouraging you from entering Fishmouth. But I'm a participant. Really? Judging by your accent, I would have said Eastern Orthodox. No, I, I mean I'm part of the festival. Then you're either a pilgrim or you're one of them entertainers. Pilgrim you ain't because you ain't got the garb and you sure don't smell like one. So that'll make you an entertainer. Let's see that entertainer license. Real artists don't need licenses. Well then, real artists ain't getting any deeper inside Fishmouth. I'll be back. We'll be here. Hello there, sir. Buzz. Off. <laughs> Actually, funny thing about that. I mean it, out-of-towner. Okay. A cornucopia of... You should not be using words you don't know the meaning of. <sighs> A lot of creepy paintings, mostly fishing-related. Some kind of fishmouth-themed fridge magnets. Interactive guide on floppy disk. There's something you don't see every day. I went to Fishmouth and all I got was out of there real fast. They all say Fishmouth. Ew. It's a multi-tool looking thing. They've always intimidated me. Hello! Good evening, sir, and welcome to our info point. My name's William LQPW Watersworth, and I'm an official representative of the Fishmouth Tourist Board. What can I do for you today, sir? Nice uh, evening we're having, huh? Nice is not a notion commonly associated with Fishmouth. While the evening, per se, with its undeniable charm and pleasant temperature, would qualify as nice, we are in Fishmouth. Therefore, I submit that it's a horrendous evening. <laughs> okay. I'm here to visit Fishmouth for a while. If I may say so, sir. That is a horrible idea. Yeah, I thought I'd... Wh what Did you just say horrible idea? Why, of course. Fishmouth is a run-down, rotting, almost abandoned mockery of a town. Nothing to visit, the people are anything but hospitable and... We're really not accepting of strangers during this particular time of year. I thought you represented the Fishmouth Tourist Board. I do. You're a tourist, correct? Am 
I not informing you, sir? I do not see how this is confusing. You said you're not accepting of strangers this particular time of year. Are you more accepting at other times? No, not really. No. Is it me or are you going out of your way to drive people away from Fishmouth? Oh, we only are the tourist's best interest at heart. The best thing a tourist can do in Fishmouth is not be one. Be one what? A tourist in Fishmouth. Which part of Fishmouth do you think is the absolute most repugnant to a visitor? That's got to be this plaza here we're situated in for sure. Really? What about the rest of the town? Oh, just as horrible. No, even more horrible. Thanks for clearing that up. Say, you've got these uh, welcoming gifts here. Correct one, Father. Going away gifts, which we do encourage we do at your earliest convenience. Yeah, what's on offer? You may choose between five options, sir. A jolly good fridge magnet with the inscription, Fish with. Not even once. A leather T-shaped shirt that says, uh, I went to fish with and all I got was out of there real fast. Horrible grammar, I know. A coffee mug reading, Fish with. Yeah. A Fish with Tourist Attractions interactive guide on floppy disk. There's really nothing to see, so no point in wasting DVDs on it. And finally, by far the most popular choice, the Fishmouth Multi-Tool. Opens anything, provides hints, helps solve puzzles, coerces people to reveal passwords, requires ceremony, shaving of head, stripping down to underwear, slight change of religion, uh, six month long vow of silence, and a little blood sacrifice. Very useful tool, which, which one of the five shall it be, sir? I, uh, I can't decide yet. Very well, sir. Do return upon having chosen wisely. That's a promise. Mr. Watersworth, I will come clean. I'm one of the entertainers. What is this you speak of, sir? I don't understand. The festival, Mr. Watersworth. Is this where I pick up my official entertainer license? You are very, very, very early, Mr... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I uh, wanted to get a feel of the place before my performance. Uh, it's a habit of mine. Don't worry, I've arranged for my stay in advance. Very well, sir. What type of entertainment should I look under? I have this talking cat. All right, let me see here. Mr. Tornston and his horrible singing beast, is it? Sure is. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, what do you know? It does speak. Oh, do make it sing, Mr. Tornston. It's time to stop being so modest, Kitty. The public wants you. Besides, I think Mr. Watersworth needs to be convinced of your singing abilities, lest he just give some imposters our license. Quite right, Mr. Tawson. We will talk about this, Mr. Tornston. What would you do with a fishman sailor? What would you do with a fishman sailor? What would you do with a fishman sailor? That was something, indeed. Memorable, huh? To say the least, sir. Here's your license, Mr. Tornston. Enjoy your stay, and... I know, I know. Keep out of everybody's business. Have a great evening, Mr. Watersworth. Doubtful. Goodbye. Well, I won't just swipe the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing the label on the bottle, right? Hey, 
Hey, kid. Good evening, sir. I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Annie, Annie Pole. This is my doggy woggy Tad. Nice to meet you, Annie and Tad Pole. So, what you up to? Just waiting for my cousin. She was supposed to show up a half an hour ago. It's not like her to be this late. What's your cousin's name? Priscilla. Whoa, really? You, you know her? Maybe. Well, hope she shows up real soon. Yeah, me too. I hope everything's all right. Is everything okay with Tad? What do you mean? Well, his eyes are um... wide apart. Yeah, he just sees more that way. He sometimes misses things coming straight at him, but I keep an eye out for them. That's nice of you. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. It's a kid and her dog staring down at the water. Dolphin's milk. It's really good for you. Very nutritious. Yeah. Uh, I bet it is. Hey, Annie. Think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Mmm, I would, but I might need to share it with Tad a bit later. See, he's really hungry, and my cousin's running really, really late. Ah, oh, poor Tad. Poor Tad. So he likes milk, huh? Not really. He'd prefer a sandwich, but he'll have to settle for milk 'cause it's all I've got. Got it. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. Mr. and Mrs. Webfoot, here's my entertainer's license. Huh? I'll be darned. Horrible singing pet, huh? Hey, didn't you say your name was Kirby or something? Torsten is my stage name. We just might be attending your show, Mr. Torsten. Welcome to Fishmouth. Keep to yourself and don't do no nosing around if you don't have to. Gotcha, Silas. See you folks around. There it is. That's Finman's over there. I don't know, man. It's been all fun and games so far, but this place is giving me the serious creeps. Can't argue with that. Gliding down through the dark green water. Yeah. <laughs> He can breathe underwater because he has amphibious nostrils. I'm sorry. Who? <laughs> On the way down, he passed hundreds of trout of different sizes. <laughs> Trout are fresh water fish and have underwater weapons. Um, I mean, what? Trout are very valuable and immensely powerful. They are. Keep away from the trout. Uh, okay, that's a promise. Good evening, good sir. Evening, stranger. The name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Nope, that's wrong. I'm afraid. The name's Milton. Milton the mechanic. No, I mean my name's Buzz. I didn't know they named kids Buzz anymore. I thought that was considered cruel and unusual. <sighs> the mechanic. Is that your surname? Yes, sir. Maybe you heard of us if you're from round Miskatonic. We're a distant offshoot of the Kingsport Diplomers. They hate our guts. Sorry to hear that. 
Nothing to be sorry about. We hates their guts too. Just straight up gut hating back and forth. Always been the way in our clan. It's nice to have traditions. Sure is. Is this your truck you're sitting next to? Sure was. It's dead now. Bleeding oil all over the road like them, like them zebras, you know, on National Zoo TV. Them poor, poor striped horses. Uh... Used to watch them shows a lot as a kid. Always got to me how them critters was meeting their end. I mean, a lion's gotta eat, but us humans? Man, we can do better than that. I made me a choice back then. You became a vegetarian? Hell nah. In Fishmouth? You crazy? We put fish in everything here. Nah, I swore off zebra meat forever. Never felt better, never felt the need for it. But yeah, the truck's mine. So are you doing anything about the truck? Nothing. Sitting here, hopeless, despairing, eating my tasty fish sandwich. Bon appetit. Nah, it's just tuna. What can you tell me about Fishmouth? Well, I don't know how you made it in, but the sooner your non-local hides is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order. The order? Mm, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. Yeah, that's what I hear. Are you gonna eat your second sandwich? Now that's a very personal question, Mr. Curlin. What of it? I, uh, would like to have it. You would, wouldn't you? Well, I tell you what, I'll trade you for it. What do you have in mind? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps? Yours? Huh? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, I don't know what came over me. Been playing these dark sci-fi adventure games. They've been messing with me. True as I'm sitting here and telling you. Murder simulators. Awful stuff. Indeed. Where was I? Oh yeah. Get me something refreshing. And you got the sandwich. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. Hi there. You staying at the Finmans tonight? I... I might be. Good luck. <laughs> hey, what did you mean by good luck? It's no fun if I tell you. You're gonna find out yourself soon enough. <laughs> Is there something about the Finman house you're not telling me? You got the wrong person, stranger. Tourist info's over that way. Not a lot of help from there, I'm afraid. Help? Oh, you don't need that. Yet. <laughs> Hello! Okay then. Hello there. <clears throat> what a great evening in Fishmouth, isn't it, sir? Evening? Yeah, I suppose it is evening. Mm. I don't know what you find so great about it, though. You know, the salty, sea-scented breeze, the smell of rotting fish, the, the distant thunder... Charming! <coughs> Bob Olmstein. <sighs> what did you just say? G uh, God, my spleen? You should have that checked out, stranger. Your spleen plays multiple important roles in your body. It's a filter for blood and part of your immune system. It also helps fight bacteria, especially the kind that causes pneumonia and meningitis. So I've heard. OK. 
Okay, thanks for the info. Oh, cooked spleen's supposed to taste real yummy. I, I don't mean the human kind, of course. I, I wouldn't know about that. Uh, very I interesting. Mr. Uh, Finman, I presume? <sighs> That's me, yeah. Nice hotel you've got here. Nice. Ain't nothing nice about it. We don't do nice in Fishmouth. There anything I can do for you, stranger? I'd like a room, please. I'd love to help you out, sir. We's all completely booked up. Really? I only see one key missing on that wall behind you. Ain't you been snooping around? Got a bunch of pilgrims coming over for the festival soon. That one standing there is the first of the bunch. Booked the whole place they did. Don't bother wasting your breath on him. He ain't talking nothing. You ain't from Fishmouth, is ya? I can smell it all over you. Why you come here? You're a direct man, aren't you, Mr. Finman? <clears throat> yeah, and I've been known to judge a man. He was nosy. And skinny. Too skinny. Well, that was judgmental. <clears throat> yes, well... Think nothing of it. I just got this hunger up in me. Ain't eaten nothing in a while. So, about that room? We's all booked. See that pilgrim standing over there? Him and his kind done booked up every single room except the one. About to arrive any minute now. Otherwise, I love to serve you. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but did that really warrant such a laugh? Ah, oh, think nothing of it, stranger. It's the hunger, you see. My stomach's growling is all. Makes me say all kind of things. Pay no mind. Can I interest you in this cookie I've got here? I'm a... I'm a meat man myself, but... Right now I could eat just about anything, I reckon. If it ain't meat, though, I gots to wash it down some, and... I ain't got anything. Mm. You mean like alcohol, right? You was pretty smart for a stranger. All meat, huh? Got any preferences or anything goes? Oh, I got my preferences. <laughs> Sorry, Skinny. Don't be judging me. Look at yourself, all oh, skin and bone. Nothing on you worth mentioning. Uh, what? What'd you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> How come you don't have any alcohol around? Been no need. We've been having plenty of meat around here. Till it stopped coming, that is. Be arriving for the festival soon, though. Ain't that right, Pilgrim? Them, them brothers of yours arriving soon, eh? <laughs> I don't get it. Are the pilgrims bringing you meat? Oh, yeah, 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 you could say that. You could definitely say that. <laughs> That's one exceptionally jovial innkeep. Anyway... Oh, so the occupied room is the spilrooms? No, it's... Someone else staying there. Can you tell me what his name is? Here at Finman House, we value our customers' privacy. Uh-huh. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We fish... <laughs> Fishmouth folk. It's Fishmouth business. We got our own to look up to. Don't need you... Funny smelling outsiders telling us what to do and who to listen to. I might just hang around and check it out if it's happening soon. That's not to be advised, Skinny. The order don't take kindly to strangers. The order? What order? Nah, never you mind that. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here. Might as well learn a thing or two about Fishmouth. The only thing you need to know about that there esoteric order is that they don't want you here. So you best be on your way. That's all I can tell you. What 
Nothing. We got up. I might. That's Does anyone take kindly to anyone around here? Our own outsider. You don't like it? You can skedaddle on out of here. Where was I? I gotta run. Take care, stranger. Ha 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 